Hi everybody, good evening. Hi, good evening, teacher. Hi. Good evening, everyone. How are you? Are you fine, teacher? Fine. And you? I'm great. Thank you so much for asking. Thanks God, I'm great. Thank you. All right, everyone. Welcome back to your English class. It's a pleasure to see you, you all. I apologize because I wasn't with you in yesterday's class, all right? But I'm here again. So let's get started. Broccoli is good for you. That's the name of section four. Today we are going to finish section four. So if you have any questions or doubts about the topics that we have seen in section four, you are able to let me know, all right? Today is class 12. So let's get started. With the teacher that was uh, teaching you yesterday's class, you saw this conversation yesterday, right? But yes. I noticed that some of you didn't practice, pero pude notar que solo practicaron dos parejas, creo, una, all right? So today okay. you are going to practice, right? The other pairs are going to practice. Así que si yo les digo un nombre y usted pasó ayer, don't worry, no tiene que pasar ahora. Le da la oportunidad a otro que pase. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, let me check. Let's go with Jorge Luis Castaneda. Did you pass yesterday? Pass no. Ayer? no. No. Okay, excellent. So you're going to be Sara. Jessica Hernandez, did you pass yesterday? Usted pasó ayer? No, teacher. Excellent. You're going to be Kumiko. Action. Mm, who is? Um, yo sería Sara o qué o cómico. Yes, Jorge, usted va a ser Sara. Okay. Jessica okay. va a ser cómico. Action. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. Host, my family always has a happiness still breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soap. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too. And we always have green tea. Well, I never had fish for breakfast, but, but I like to try new things. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. That was great. Now, let me just make it bigger just to help you with some words, right? Voy a hacer un poco más grande la screen para ayudarles con algunas palabras. Um, let me have... Uh, Jessica, repeat after me. Japanese? Japanese? Style. Style. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Y la otra sería, Jessica, interesting. 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 Como si no tú... Como que si la E que está después de la T no sonara, right? Interesting. Interesting. Right, thank you. Now let's go with, yeah, I think those were the only ones, all right? Very good. Let's go with another, with another person. What about Yvette Aguirre? Would you like to help me being Sara and Moises? Did you practice in yesterday's class? No, teacher. Okay, I, so you are Kumiko. Action. Kumiko, okay. Let's have breakfast together on Sundays. Okay. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese-style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have a fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have the salad too. And we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Excellent. Very positive, Yvette. Very good. That's great. Excellent. Moises, too, with your pronunciation, fluency, both of you. Now, check. let's check. <laughs> 
You're welcome, sir. Now let's go with Rebecca de Benavides. You are Sara. Oscar Velázquez, you are Kumiko. Action. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to the house. My family, my family always has Japanese, Japanese style, breakfast, and Sunday. Sunday. Really? What do you have? We usually have this. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Some, sometimes we have a salad too. And we always have the tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Excellent. Thank you, both of you. I appreciate your effort. Now let's go with the last pair. Vamos a escoger una última pareja, all right? I'm going to have Josué Granados. You are going to be Sara. You didn't participate yesterday, right, Josué? Usted no participó ayer? No, no, no. Excellent. Usted va a ser Sara. And Jennifer Marisol. Hello, Jennifer. Usted participó ayer, or no? Hello, teacher. No. Okay, you are comical. Action. Let's have bread fight together on Sunday. Sunday. Okay. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We we usual palm fish, rice, and salt. Fish for breakfast. Then that interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have great tea. Well, I never eat fish. Fish for bread fry, but I like to drink new drinks. Excellent. Thank you, both of you. Uh, listen up, Jennifer. La felicito. Pronunció correctamente la palabra. That's interesting, all right? Very good. Thank Solo you. repitamos, Jennifer. Try. Try. I like to try. I like to try. Excellent. Thank you, Jennifer. That was perfect. Josué, just repeat after me. Uh, always. Always. La L no, no suena, solo es como si dijéramos la A y la W. Always. Right? Always. Uh -huh, exactly. There you go. Very good. Thank you, Josué. Thank That's you. correct. Now, everyone, let's move on. Today, we are going to study adverse of frequency, which they are pretty amazing because they help you to use them in simple present, all right? So let's check, what do we have? We have a sentence over here. Tenemos una oración, y con esta oración estamos utilizando todos los adverbs of frequency. Yo no les recomiendo que copien esta parte, mejor ya los van a copiar cuando aparezcan con el percentage, con el porcentaje. Ahorita, let's just pay attention, all right? Solo prestemos atención. Adverbs of frequency. Recuerden, no es frequency, Frequency, all right? Always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, never. Pero ¿cómo suenan con la oración? La oración es eat breakfast. Así que ahora lo vamos a hacer así. I always eat breakfast. I usually eat breakfast. I often eat breakfast. I sometimes eat breakfast. I hardly ever eat breakfast. I never eat breakfast. All right. Ahí se nos olvidó el subject, but don't worry. Se quedó omitido porque podíamos utilizar cualquier tipo de subject. En este caso, yo utilicé I. Talking about myself. 
Now, let's check the following. Ahora nos movemos a las frequencies. How frequent, how frequent are you able to use these ones? ¿Qué tan frecuente estamos, podemos utilizar estos? So let's check. 100%. A esto prestenle bastante atención porque después me lo van a decir ustedes, all right? No se le escucha, Moisés, se le escucha cortado. Se me escucha cortado. Okay. Ahora sí, ya se le escucha bien, ya. Ah, va, es que se ha del otro audífono. Este, hardly ever quiere decir como muy de vez en cuando o rara vez, digamos así. Algo así sería como un equivalente. Ajá, uh -huh, exactly. Hardly ever es como ahí de vez en cuando, right? O algunas veces. Ah, va, ok. Sorry, rara veces, en realidad, Moisés, como dijo usted, algunas veces sería sometimes. All right? So there you go. That's correct. So let's get started. 100%. Always. 80%. Noten que no digo por cent. No lleva o. Percent. 80% usually. No usually. No, no, no. Usually. 70% of them. 50% sometimes. No es un times. All right? No. 50% sometimes. 25% hardly ever. 0% never. Cuando usted haga uso del zero, de, perdón, cuando usted haga uso del never, es porque literal no hay any chance, all right? No tenemos ninguna posibilidad de eso. So, let's get started. We are going to start with Jessica Hernandez, please tell me the adverse of frequency. Okay. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Always. Uh, always. Uh, eight. Eight, eighty, eighty, four percent, usually seventy percent often, fifty percent sometimes, twenty five percent, hardly ever. Zero, zero percent, never. Excellent. Thank you, Jessica. Very good. Let's go with the next one. Let's go with Julio Aguillon, please. A hundred percent, always. Eighty percent, actually, usually. 7% often, 50% sometimes, 25% hardly ever, 0% never. Excellent. Thank you, Julio. That's correct. Now, everybody, just as a reminder, solo como recordatorio, no decimos percent, decimos percent. Literalmente, como si vara E, all right? Percent. Let's go with Yvette Aguirre. Después de Yvette Aguirre iría Omar Chacón. Anxion Yvette. 100% always. 80% usually. Se 70? 70% often. 50% sometimes. 25% hardly ever. Zero percent, never. Excellent. Thank you, Yvette. Let's go, Omar. Okay, teacher. One hundred percent, always, always. Uh, Eighteen per percent, usually. Yeah, Se Seven percent, often. Fifteen percent, sometimes. Twenty-five percent, hardly ever. 
y zero percent never. Excellent, sir. Very good. Let's go with Rebeca de Benavides after Rebeca Jorge Luis. Action, Rebeca. 100, 100% always. 80% usually. 70% often. 50% sometimes. 25% early ever. 0% never. Excellent. Thank you. That was amazing. Let's go with Jorge. After Jorge, Moises. Okay. 100% always. 80% usually. 17% often. 50% sometimes. 25% hardly ever. 0% never. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Let's go with Moises. Después de Moises, Sandra Rios. Okay. 100% always. 80% usually. 70% often. 50% sometimes. 50 hundred. Sorry. 20, 25? 20, 25. I. I I forget, 25% hardly ever, then 0% never. Excellent, thank you. Let's go with Sandra after Sandra, Jennifer. Okay, 100% always, 80% usually, 70% often, 50% sometimes, 25% hardly ever, 0% never. Excellent, thank you, very good everybody, you nailed it. Excelente, como van todos? Let's go with Jennifer Marisol. 100% always, 18% usually, 17% person often, 15 person sometime, 25 early ever, zero person never. Excellent, thank you Marisol, repeat after me, always. Always. Excellent, very good. Y ten, uh, let's be careful everybody, tengamos un poquito de cuidado al decir el 50, right? Porque si ustedes me dicen 15, me están diciendo 15. Y si me dice 50, me está diciendo 50, all right? That's the correct one. Let's go with Josué Granados. After Josué Granados, iría Vanessa Scarlett. Action, Josué. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. 100% always. 80% usual. 70% often, 15% some, sometimes, 25% hardly ever, 0% never. Excellent, thank you. All right, todavía sigo escuchando el percent y no existe percent, es percent, all right? 100%, 80%, all right, so let's practice that. Let's go with um, Vanessa Scarlett, please. Creo que si está disponible Yolanda para pasar después de Vanessa Scarlett, you are welcome. All right, puede ser. Let's go, Vanessa. Percent, always, 18% usually, 17% often, 50% sometimes, 25% hardly ever, Zero percent, never. Very good, excellent, Vanessa. Thank you. Let's go with Yolanda. From the hour. Eighty percent. Eighty percent usually. Seventy percent. Seventy percent. Austin. 
60%, sometimes 25%, hardly ever, 0%, never. Excellent, thank you, very good, Yolanda. Let's go with Francisco Martinez. After Francisco, Oscar Velasquez. <coughs> 100% AWEX, 18% UC. 80% usually. 80% 80, 80 usually. Usually. 17% often, 17% often, 15% something. 25% Harry ever, 0% never. Excellent, Francisco, repeat after me. 80. Repeat, please. 80. 80. 70. 70. 50. 60. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Very okay. good. Let's go with Oscar Velasquez. You are the last one. 100 percent. Así es. Percent. Percent. Always. Percent. Always. 18 percent usually. 17 percent often. 15 percent sometimes. 25 percent early ever. Zero. Zero. Person never. Excellent. Thank you, sir. All right, everybody. Congratulations. Very good. You handled it pretty well. All right. Quería que todos pasaran para ver cómo estamos con esa pronunciation, porque aparte de que es necesario o esencial que usted aprenda a utilizarlo gramaticalmente, también it's super essential for you to learn how to transmit the words. All right. So let's check the following. We have a guiding structure. Y esta la tienen en, where do you have it? Ah, yes, in the video. Okay, so it says subject plus adverb of frequency plus verb plus complement, right? Let's repeat, subject plus adverb of frequency plus verb plus complement. Let me check, uh, Sandra Rios, can you repeat again the structure, please? Uh, subject, um, more other of frequency. Uh -huh. Plus. More verb. Plus. El más, cuando es el símbolo, se dice plus. Plus. Uh -huh. Así. Plus verb, plus complement. Mm -hmm. All right, yes. Se escribe plus, pero se pronuncia plus. Very good, Sandra. Thank you. Plus. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, now let's check. Um, let's go with Omar Chacon. Repeat again the structure. Okay. Subject plus adverb of frequencies plus verb plus complement. Thank you. Josué Granados, repeat again the structure. Okay. Soldier plus albert of frequency plus verb plus complement. Excellent. Thank you. Now, let's check. Uh, Yvette, can you repeat the, the structure for adverbs of frequency, please? Subject plus adverb of frequency plus verb plus complement. Excellent. Julio, can you repeat again the structure of adverbs of frequency? Object and subject plus adverb of frequency plus verb plus complement. Excellent. And last one, Moises. Repeat once again the guiding structure, please. The guiding structure, okay, is subject plus adverb of frequency plus verb plus complement. 
Excellent, very good everybody, it's good. I was checking if you took notes and that's great, you wrote them. So let's check, we have a guiding example. As per usual, you know that in my class, after teaching you the guiding structure, I always tend to use some guiding examples for you, right? Ustedes ya saben que en mi clase siempre, después de una estructura guía, vamos a tener los ejemplos guías también, all right? So in this case, we have number one, I always, tenemos que trabajar mucho con esta palabra always, all right? Porque por ahí escuché algunos que me decían always todavía, y no se puede, es always. I always have lunch with my mother at noon. Yo siempre eh, tomo un almuerzo con mi madre al mediodía, all right? I sometimes eat dinner, or sometimes I eat dinner, or I eat dinner sometimes. Ya vamos a ver por qué tenemos tres estructuras con el sometimes, right? Meanwhile, mientras tanto, I need somebody to read these sentences. So I'm going to ask Vanessa Scarlett, please, can you read number one? And Rebecca de Benavides, number two. One, I always have lunch with my mother at noon. Excellent. Two, I sometimes eat the dinner or sometimes I eat dinner or I eat dinner sometimes. Excellent, thank you. Let me see if we have it over here. Okay, I'm going to explain this. I thought I had it. Creí que tenía aquí la, la explanation, pero se los voy a decir, all right? You might notice, ustedes habrán notado los que ya van adelante, lo vieron en el video, y si no lo vieron, pues aquí lo voy a explicar yo. You might notice that the advert of frequency sometimes, que significa algunas veces, it's used after the subject pronoun, like in this case, after the subject, the, no, yeah, after the subject pronoun. Y en la second sentence, y en la segunda oración, va antes, before the subject pronoun. En la primera, tienen el adverbio de frecuencia sometimes después del sujeto del pronombre. En la segunda, lo tienen antes del sujeto del pronombre. En the third one, you have it at the end. Y en la tercera, lo tienen al final. ¿Y qué es lo distintivo de la tercera? Well, you need to add a comma if you are going to place sometimes at the end of the sentence, right? Lo peculiar de la tercera oración que tenemos es que es obligación utilizar una coma eh, antes de utilizar el sometimes si lo vamos a posicionar al final de la oración. All right? Got it? Entonces, the three forms that we have with sometimes are, las tres formas que tenemos con sometimes son after the subject pronoun, before the subject pronoun, which means at the beginning of the sentence, lo que significa el principio de la oración, or at the end of the subject pronoun, adding a coma before it. All right. Lo podemos tener at the end of the sentence, ya después de la oración, al final de la oración, perdón, poniendo o posicionando una coma antes de este, sometimes, all right? Is it clear or do you have any other question? Y significa lo mismo, teacher. Mm -hmm. Exactly, yes, the same. Es como si usted dijera, yo a veces eh, como la cena, right? O tomo la cena. Y de ahí en la segunda, a veces yo tomo la cena. O en la tercera, yo tomo la cena a veces. All right? It's the same. Any other question? O sea que indiferentemente que lo digamos en las tres formas, está bien. Yes, either of the three forms. Ah. Pero solo quiero destacar que es solo con el sometimes, all right? O sea, o sea que vamos a hacer tres oraciones solo con el sometimes. No, 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 todavía no hemos llegado a la práctica, Omar. No, no, okay, perdón, perdón. no solo sí. quiero saber si comprendieron eso, de que pueden utilizar el sometimes al principio, al final o en medio. Ah, ok, entendí. Okay. Solo con esa verb se puede hacer esas tres cosas. Solo con este adverb of frequency. Adverb of frequency, ok. Yes. Yeah. 
Okay, very good. Thank you, everybody. Now let's check. Eso nos estaba adelantando, Mr. Chacón, pero sí, tienen la practice, all right? Um, let me hear. Vamos a pedirle a Jessica Hernández, please. Can you read the instructions? No lee las instrucciones. Okay. Practice time. One. Work individual, individually. Two. Create two sentences using adverbs of frequency. Three. Share your centers with the class. Excellent, thank you. Very good, all right? I'm gonna give you like five minutes. If you need more, you're gonna have more, but you only have five minutes to create two sentences using adverse of frequency, all right? Le voy a dar cinco minutos. Si necesitan más, it's okay, pero yo creo que cinco minutos para dos oraciones está suficiente, all right? Pueden, deben utilizar esta estructura, pero también si usted quiere utilizar el sometimes, aquí ya le enseñé yo con el ejemplo cómo lo va a hacer, all right? Is it clear or do you have any question? ¿Está claro o tienen preguntas? Ok, so I assume it's clear. Solo una pregunta, teacher, rápido. ¿Sí? Que se me ha olvidado. ¿Cómo, qué, qué, ¿Qué significa often? o ¿A qué llega el término de often? Para poder ver si lo puedo usar. Let's check. Often es seguido. Es a menudo o a menudo. Uh -huh. A menudo o seguido. Right? Ah, ok. A menudo seguido, but thank you. Which is the same. Very good. Okay, listen up. I'm going to turn off my camera. Voy a apagarles mi cámara y mi micrófono porque quiero conectar mi cargado. Ya se me está muriendo la computer. Entonces, como voy a parar, voy a apagar la cámara, right? Pero voy a estar siempre aquí. I'll be right back. Nos puede poner la presentación a María, teacher, porfa. Jennifer, you meant this one, se refería a esta Jennifer o a la de los adverse of frequency? No, eso está bien, gracias. Ah, okay.
All right, have you finished? Yes. Great. Somebody else? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Good, 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 excellent. Now let's get started with, I think it was Julio, the one that it said before that he had finished, all right? Yes. I always drive to my work. Mm -hmm. Very good. I never drink coffee. Okay, very good, excellent. <laughs> Let me check. Um, let's go with Jennifer. No, no, with Jessica Hernandez, please. Okay, teacher. Um, my mother usually eats fruit. Mm -hmm. I often have pupusas for breakfast. Very good, excellent. And I like that you use third person. Y me gustó que utilizó la tercera persona, right? Recuerden que solamente porque se les piden dos oraciones no significa por obligación que siempre va, siempre va a hablar de usted mismo en las oraciones. Puede hablar de alguien más y así va practicando con la tercera persona, que en el simple present es lo que gramaticalmente más cuesta. Hablar con la third person. Great, very good, Jessica. Let's go with... Has somebody else finished? ¿Ha finalizado alguien más? Yo, teacher. Excellent. Action. Yvette. I often read at, at night. Uh -huh. Sometimes my daughter feeds her cat. All right, very good, excellent, Yvette, that's correct. Let's go with Rebecca de Benavides, please. I always take a bath before bed. Sometimes she has dinner with, you, with your family. Dinner, all right, very good, excellent, thank I, you. Dinner, dinner. Mm -hmm. Yes, excellent, thank you, Rebecca. Let's go with Omar Chacon, please. Okay. I often go to the park at play soccer. Uh, she always drives a motorcycle for uh, forever fast. All right. Uh, she always drives. Uh, always drives. Mm -hmm. Sí, correcto. A motorcycle exactly. forever fast. No sé okay, si lo very good. Yeah. Siempre rápido. Yes. Sí. Ah, okay, okay. Eh, solamente Omar que la primera creo que repita la please o algo ahí que I often to go to the park at the play soccer. All right. Repita después de mí. Tendría que ir. I often okay. go I to the go park to the park to play uh -huh. tennis. Tennis dijo que era lo que jugaba. ¿Cómo? Play soccer. Ah, to play soccer. Yo le puse a T como a, a, a jugar. O le tenía que poner también to. Tiene que quitarle el at y tienen que poner to. To. Ah, ese sí. es como a porque es como direccional, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. Yes. Gracias. Okay. Let's go with another one. Vamos con alguien más. Who has finished. ¿Qué tal Moises? Después de Moises, Yo, Jorge Luis. Aquí las tengo, las mías. La primera dice así. My father always eat for the breakfast beans with eggs and cheese or cream without some bread and a cup of coffee. And uh, a cup sería, of coffee. Yes. Uh, segunda. I hardly ever eat cereal with meat for my breakfast. Okay, very good, Moises. That's correct. Thank you. Let me check. Let's go with a quien le dije a Jorge Luis, all right? Action. Um, I always drink coffee in the morning. Sometimes drink hot chocolate, but never drink soda in the morning. But I never drink soda. Siempre tiene que okay. poner el subject. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good, excellent, Jorge, that's correct, thank you. Ok, creo que alguien más quería pasar antes de que yo le dijera a Moises, así que no sé si me pueden decir. Yo, que... teacher, quería okay. comprobar. Yes, Oscar. Por favor. 
Sí. They usually play football. Mm -hmm. She. Uh, hey. El, el ever eat fruit. She never eats fruit. Uh -huh. She el ever eat fruit. De comer. Fruit. Pero quiere decir fruta. Sí, fruta, sí. Fruit. All right, excellent. Solamente esas dos. Very good, Oscar. Si están correctas, gramaticalmente correctas. Let's go with Francisco. Por ahí vi que abrió su micrófono. Okay. <clears throat> My aunt always has lunch with me in the afternoon. Ah. Uh -huh. Sometimes, some, some some time, sometimes, 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 some sometimes, 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 I have lunch with my wife. All right, excellent. We use the same context, but they are correct. Utilizo el mismo contexto, pero están correctas, Francisco. Very good. Um, let's go with. Sandra Ríos. Después de Sandra iría Jennifer Marisol. I always go to work by bus. And I sometimes play basketball on Saturdays. Very good, excellent, Sandrita. That's correct. Let's go with Marisol. Después de Marisol, Vanessa Scarlett. Often my brother is funny. My husband never eats fish. Then tiene que poner my brother is often funny. Is often funny. Y no se puede, no dijo usted que no importaba el orden, teacher. No, dije que solamente con el sometimes, Jennifer. Ah, Por eso okay. la misma oración se las hice con el sometimes. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Tiene el mismo contexto la oración, pero solamente con el sometimes. Y quiero que notemos algo, everybody, ya que Jennifer dijo el is. Qué bueno, Jennifer, la felicito porque utilizó el is. Eh, estamos en el simple present, it's true. All right, estamos en presente simple. Y el is, el verb to be, perdón, es una estructura que también puede estar en presente simple o puede estar en pasado. Pero es una estructura, no es en esa en la que estamos trabajando. Sin embargo, el hecho de que Jennifer lo haya hecho así, nos demuestra también que pueden utilizar los adverbs of frequency con el verb to be. All right? And there you go. That's correct. Thank you, Jennifer. Eh, solo que creo que escuché solo una sentence, Jennifer. No sé si me puede leer la otra, please. My husband never eats fish. Very good, very good, excellent. Ahí lo colocó, excelente, very good. Let's go with Vanessa Scarlett. Después de Vanessa iría Josué Granados. Uh, my mother always wakes up early. Um, I hardly ever eat a fish soup. Yeah, <laughs> very good, excellent, Vanessa, great. Let's go, Jose. Okay. I always have fish with my father at night, and sometimes sleep in the evening. I sometimes rest in the break. Right, excellent. Thank you, Jose. That's correct. Vamos a ver, Yolanda, si está disponible para darme sus sentences. Okay, maybe you are busy. So let's move on everybody. Congratulations, you did a great job. Hicieron un excelente trabajo con las sentences. Ahora vamos a ver algo que también es súper importante. Questions about frequency. This is the structure. We use do or does. No cambia el hecho de que vamos a utilizar frecuencia. No cambia que no vamos a utilizar auxiliares, right? Recuerden que los auxiliares son súper necesarios en el simple present, son indispensables. So let's check. We are going to use do or does, 
plus subject, plus verb, plus, perdón, plus subject, plus ever, plus verb, plus complement, plus question mark. Now, let's ask to Jessica Hernandez. Can you read the structure again, please? Okay. Um, question, question about frequency structure. Do or does plus subject plus ever plus verb plus complement plus el signo si no se Question mark. Question mark. Excellent. Jorge Luis Castaneda, read again the structure, please. Do and does plus subject plus ever plus verb. Plus plum, plus complement, plus plus question mark. Excellent, thank you, sir. And let's listen to Francisco Martinez. Read again the structure. Do, dos, plus subject, plus ever, plus per, plus complement, plus question mark. Excellent, thank you. Okay, let's continue with the follow. Let's ask uh, Sandra Rios, please. Can you tell me the guiding structure for questions? Uh, what? Ah, I yeah. always... No, la, la estructura guía. Ahorita solo lo cambié de lámina, pero quiero que me dé la misma estructura que sus compañeros han mencionado cuatro veces. Um, do, das. Do or does. Do, do, uh, das. Plus. Subject. Plus ever. Plus complement, uh, plus question mark. Excellent, bravo, Vanessa Scarlett. Tell me the guiding structure again, please. Do or does plus. Vanessa, la silencié por, silen por silenciar a Sandrita que dejó el micrófono abierto. La silencia usted, Vanessa, perdón. Open your microphone. Ok. Eh, do or does plus subject plus ever plus verb plus complement. Excellent. Thank you. That's correct. Está correcto. Plus question mark. All right. Now everybody, the guiding examples. Un ejemplo here, right? Porque con uno es suficiente. Do you ever have pasta for breakfast? Yes, I always do. Sometimes I do. No, I never do. Let me hear you, um, Josué Granados, please. Read the same example. Okay. Do you ever have pasta for breakfast? Yes, I always do. Sometimes I do. No, even I never do. Repeat after me. Always. Always. La L no. Always. Always. Yes, excellent, sir. Thank you. Okay. Now, everybody, there you go. This is the key example. Este es el ejemplo guía. Solo les puse las respuestas para que vean cómo pueden responder con los adverbs of frequency. Pero en la pregunta siempre vamos a estar utilizando ever, all right? Y esta pregunta está totalmente basada en la structure que acabamos de ver hace un minuto. Now, let's go to another examples. Vamos a otros ejemplos. Does Alejandra ever have dinner at night? All right? Recuerden que podemos hacer el, el, how do you say this? ¿Cómo se dice? La substitution, la sustitución del... Subject pronoun por un noun. 
Entonces tenemos, does Alejandra ever have dinner at night? Does he ever eat pizza for lunch? Now, I'm going to ask for help to Rebeca de Benavides. Please, can you read number one and Omar Chacón number two? Does Alejandra ever have dinner at night? Mm -hmm. Number two, Omar. Your microphone is turned off. Su micrófono está cerrado, Omar. Lo siento, teacher. Mm -hmm. Does he ever eat pizza for lunch? Very good, excellent, thanks. Now everybody, let's check out this. Vamos a trabajar, bueno, no, saben que esta practice la vamos a hacer mejor on Monday. We are just about to finish. Vamos a hacer más prácticas el día lunes, pero ahorita vamos a hacer estos readings, okay? Let's check. Con esto finalizamos la section, all right? Para el día lunes vamos a hacer una practice de lo que acabamos de ver este día. So, Let's see. So, this is about traditions that people have, all right, in your year's Eve. Este, este, estos readings son de tradiciones que las personas tienen usualmente en New Year's Eve, en víspera de Año Nuevo. All right? So it says, some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are round, round foods, and then begin again like years. Let me hear you, um, Luis Castaneda, please. Read the same paragraph. Teacher, perdón, el que está después del foods, eh, end y end. End and end. Ajá. Perdón. Termina. Es que el end es determinación, o sea, termina. Eso significa terminar, end. Y end significa y. Y. Un conector. And, and. Right? Action, Luis. Okay. Some Chinese people eat tangerines. Mm -hmm. Tangerines are round. Round food and round food and and begin again like years. Excellent. Very good. Let's go to the next one. It is a Jewish custom. Jewish significa judíos, all right? It is a Jewish custom, menos es una costumbre judía. To eat apples with honey for a sweet new year. Es una tradición judía el comer manzana con miel para la víspera de año nuevo, all right? Para un dulce año nuevo. Let's listen to Julio Guillón, please. Hello, si me escuchan o se me cortó. Hello. All right, yes, Julio, action. It is a Jewish custom to eat apples with honey for a sweet New Year's. Excellent, thank you. Let's go to the third one. Vamos con el tercero. Greeks, Greeks significa griegos, all right? Greeks eat basilopita bread with a coin inside. Everyone tries to find a coin for luck and money in the new year. Action, Ivet, please. Greek, Greek, it's basilopita, bread with a coin inside. Everyone tries to find a coin for luck and money in the new year. Excellent, thank you. All right, everybody, listen up. With this, we are going to finish the class, all right? But I don't want to leave without saying this. No me quiero despedir de ustedes en decirles esto. Tienen que terminar la sección 4 para este día. Ya la terminamos aquí, all right? So there are zero excuses. Así que no hay ninguna excusa para decir, no, la teacher no trabajó ese tema, all right? Vamos súper bien con el tiempo. Ustedes trabajan hasta este día la sección 4. Creo que se les da el viernes como algo extra para que lo trabajen, pero si ustedes pueden, háganlo ahorita, all right? Por eso los dejo ya. 
So I'm going to see you on Monday, everybody. Primeramente Dios, nos vemos el lunes, right? Bye, take care. Yeah. Bye, Bye, teacher. Good night. Good night. Take care. Bye. See you on Monday. See you on Monday. Happy weekend. <laughs> Thank you.